had a comment on one of my YouTube videos uh, in the last week. And the person had watched the video called uh, Projector in Business, Here's How to Launch a New Thing. If I can work out how to put it on the screen, it'll be just here. Otherwise, you can go to the show more uh, description below this video and there'll be a link to that video if you're a projector or you're supporting projectors. Now, the person had asked the question and said, oh, look, I'm, I'm conflicted because I've heard from other human design coaches that if I'm starting something new by myself, like a business or a move, that I do not need an invitation. Can you clarify? Because I'm confused. <sighs> okay. One. There are a lot of people on human design, uh, on YouTube, on lots of social media channels talking about human design now. Um, there is a massive influx of human design coaches since the beginning of 2020. So there's a lot of people teaching a lot of things. And it is fair that you could be, any anyone who is watching this um, could be confused. There are some things about human design that are very, very simple, but they're not easy to live out. And there is some clarification, some teasing apart that needs to happen with the projector invitation. And there is some, there's quite a lot of misinformation about when as a projector you need to wait and when you don't, but it's actually really easy. Now, I understand the confusion because Ra initially taught wait for the big things. And a lot of popular well-known human design teachers will also say, only wait for the big things. If you are going to be invited to get married, <laughs> if you're going to get invited into a new relationship, um, then you need to wait for an invitation. But here's the thing. Please understand this. As a projector, I'm a projector eight and a half, more than eight and a half years into my journey with human design. And I can tell you from an embodied experience, as a projector, if you don't wait for an invitation with anything that um, requires the um, energetic input of somebody else, it's going to be a struggle. Right now, let's thought, look about it in the context of business, because that original video was about how to launch a business. And much of the, the person's question was about how to launch something in business. They're, they're wanting to know. And there's a lot of projectors who are trying to start businesses. If you haven't, as a projector, been invited to teach or share or do the thing that somebody else wants you to do, if there's no invitation, there's no energy for you to guide and manage. Now, it's really important in human design. You can do anything you want. You can ignore all the human design wisdom. And some of you will need to do that. If you have a lot of threes in your chart, especially if you're a third line profile, so if you're a one three or a three five or a six three, um, or if you're any of the six line profiles and you're under the age of 30, um, you are going to need to take everything that you learn and go try it out in the material plane. You're going to need to learn by doing things and working what doesn't work in order for you to work out what does work. So it doesn't matter what any of us say, who know what we're talking about, who have been doing this long enough to like have an embodied understanding of human design, um, you're going to have to take it and mess it up. Now, I have lots of third lines in my, pro in, my, in, my in my chart. So even if you've got threes in lots of the columns of data down the side, lots of the numbers, if you've got lots of third lines um, or six lines and you're early in your process, um, you're going to need to take what you're learning and go and try it out. So maybe you do need to launch your business without an invitation. And what you'll come to realize is you put in so much time and energy and money and resource and you get very little return. See, that's what happens when we as projectors try and start something, anything that requires the input of somebody else in order for it to be successful on the material plane. When we start something because we have this intuitive knowing that the world needs it and we have this impulse and it feels great in our body and it makes us zing and we're all excited about it. If we don't have an invitation, you are going to burn so much energy trying to make that thing happen. Now, the opposite happens when you wait for an invitation. You have this internal sense of like, oh my God, this thing's going to be so amazing and I'm so excited about creating it. 
And maybe as you start to share that idea with loved ones, with um, other people in your close community, your friends, your sounding boards, which I hope every projector has, people who will just listen to you without trying to guide you, um, that as you share without any attachment to the invitations, one of them reflects back to you, oh, my God, that would be amazing. Or ideally, somebody flat out asks you with no, um, uh, when you're not expecting it <laughs> um, and says, oh, my God, you're brilliant at that thing. You should, you should charge for that. That thing you just helped me with, that was so valuable. You should, you should do that for work. Can you, can you, can you offer that as a, as an, as a service? I'd buy that thing from you. Can you, can you make more of them and sell it? Right. That's what an invitation would look like. So you can go and start a business or do a move, but please understand that if it involves other human beings, you need the other human beings in order for it to work. And the energy comes from being invited, from being recognized for that skill set. The invitation helps you clear the path, make it easy. Everything that I had said in the video that I had recorded a year and a half ago, I watched back through it, this one on launching as a projector. And I was like, yep, I agree with everything past version of me said. Don't be, um, don't be distracted by the fact that I looked around a lot in the video. I was searching for the right words for the right way to describe it. Please be mindful. That's not past Carolyn unsure or not confident in what she was saying. That's just Carolyn looking for the right word to be able to describe what she was saying, right? Everything that I said in that video, I stand by a year and a half later. And if anything, the only thing that I would add is like, <sighs> you are going to get confused, understandably, by the well-meaning advice from different human design experts. If you can, look at how long they've been playing with human design. How, if, if they've been playing with human design for two years, but they've read every textbook, that's great. They might know the textbooks inside out and back to front. They might have listened to every lecture by Ra. But Ra was a manifester. And if that projector hasn't had a chance to embody it, or if they're another human design type and they haven't had a chance to uh, work with a lot of projectors and get a lot of feedback over a long period of time, um, then they're not going to know what it feels like. There's no shortcut with human design. You have to take the things don't put anybody else on a pedestal I did that for a long time I thought that there were lots of experts who knew what they were talking about but what what I found is that I had to take the the information apply it and apply it long enough to be able to get an embodied sense of what it feels like it's hard for us as a projector as projectors when we try and make things happen and it includes anybody else I can write a blog post on a platform that I already have set up without any invitation because I'm already receiving invitations and recognitions through that platform. I can create videos or Instagram posts out of the blue without any prompting from anybody else because I already have recognitions and invitations through those platforms. But if it's something new, if I was going to create a whole new branch of my business, I now know very clearly I'm not going to do that until I have a really clear, uh, probably multiple invitations, that I have a lot of energy coming from my community going, Carolyn, we want you to do this thing. Because that's when I know there'll be the energy available to do it. That's when I know that that's what my community wants. And that's how I know it's the right timing for that. So I trust that that was helpful. Below every one of these videos, I will always put more resources if it's a long form. It's a YouTube short. There's probably not much below it. But if it's a long video like this, you can look in the description, the show more section below this video, and I will always link to more resources and more helpful things to help you on your human design journey.